Yo, 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 what's going on, world? This is your boy Najee from Cigar Talk, and today I got a very special guest, man. Seated to my right, man, I got none other than the ghost. He got this big fight coming up. My man, Frank Martin. What's up, what's going yeah, on, yeah, G? Yeah, How yeah. you? Solid, solid. Man, um, I got the chance to kind of watch you train today, you know what I'm saying? Really, really getting it into the gym. Um, you know, this is the biggest moment. This is a, probably your biggest, your biggest fight to date coming up. Uh, how do you feel? Like, how do you mentally get in that mode to have a big moment like this? Shit, really, you just gotta, like me, I just gotta switch. You know what I mean? I just gotta switch, you know, like, I'm one of them, I'm one of them guys that like, this one of them opportunities, when it's a big opportunity, yeah. it's just some shit that just come out, come out, come out of me, mm. you know what I mean? So, big opportunities, you know, I just, I do good at capitalize off, capitalizing off of them. Yeah. How do you feel that, like, you know, because I think going into every fight, pretty much like, you know, you've been the guy that a lot of your fights, even though, you know, you've had some tough fights, Michelle Rivera and things like that, but like this one, you're going into with people are saying you're the underdog, where they're mm -hmm. like, every, a lot of people are expecting Tank to win. Does that change your mentality as far as, like, how you going into it? Shit, nah, it just made me go harder. Yeah. You know, you know that the ones who sleep, there's a lot of people who still sleep, you mm -hmm. know, so what? What better fight can I have to wake motherfuckers up besides yeah. this one? Yeah. Tell me what it was like when you got the call. Like when niggas hit you, like it's tank. What was the vibes? What was your, how you, how did you feel? For real, I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't expecting them to take the fight. You oh, know? the tank side. I wasn't expecting them to take the fight. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's more, it, it was more like a blessing in disguise. You know, like yeah. I was thinking it was going to be a different opponent. And I was, I, you know, I, I, I thought he was probably going to vacate the belt or something, yeah. but. You know, I guess he, you know, dropped his nuts and he and he wanna bang with me. So <laughs> yeah. you know. Yeah, for sure. You don't get it. Nah, for sure. Uh, it's definitely one of them ones because it's like, you know, he, he's coming off a I say layoff, maybe it's been a you know, a year and some change for him. Um he had the jail stint that he was doing or whatever. Um what do you see that you like? Cause you know, this is one of the this is the face of boxing. If not, you know, him and Canelo the face of boxing, pound for pound, what do you see that you like, I could capitalize on this? Shit, just, you know, it's fighting, you know, it's boxing, you know, like, every fighter in there, you know, slip up, make mm -hmm. mistakes, you know, uh, I can't say exactly what I see, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, but, you know, he game, you know, he a dog, but, shit, he ain't the only dog that's out here, you know, everybody, anybody could get beat, you mm -hmm. know, like, anybody can be beat, so, it's just one of them things, you know, I feel like I'm ready for everything you got. Alright, but you don't feel like, cause this, this is tank. Like this is one of the ones. Like, do but you? But that's feel, the problem. Do look, you feel like that? Like, look, nigga, this tank, nigga. No, that's the problem. That's where a lot of times, like, fighters, they they lose right there, mm. cause they 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 respect the other fighter too much because of who they are, or if they got this big buzz or this name. Like, fuck that. He 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 just another fighter that you know we got we got lace up and get in there and bang it out. Like, mm. you know, he just got status. You know, he good. He ain't no. And he ain't no pushover, he ain't, you yeah. know, like, yeah. just no not good fighter, he a dog, but, you know, hey, we yeah. all got to run into dogs at, eventually. Right, now you're right about that. Um, how do you, you know, obviously Tank, I mean, he, he definitely has some boxing skills, but everybody known for his power, right? Like real explosive power, a lot of knockouts, all of that. Um, what do you feel like you can do that's going to, like, be able to negate the power factor? Uh, I just feel like, man, for real, like our cla both our styles is just going to clash, you know, like he more of a, a one punch, you know, he can get get a fighter up out of there with one big explosive shot. Yeah. You know, me, I ain't I don't I ain't going in there trying to get you up out of there with one big shot, you know, like, but you're going to feel you're going to when I hit you, you're going right. to feel them, you right. know, like I can, but that ain't my, you know, that just ain't my style, yeah. you know, no. but I could, you know, I could play however. You know, whatever, however that night go, yeah, I can play it how I want to play it. Do you envision it? Like, in your mind, like, how this, when you thinking about it, obviously, you know, you a fighter, you playing it out in your head. Tell us what does that look like as you playing it out? What? Like, the fight. Like, when you going in, how do you, how you play it out when you're envisioning what it's that's going to be? It's really just, you know, game planning. You know, that, that come from camp. You know, everything y'all working on in camp, you know, uh, you guys, it's, it's the game plan. You know, yeah. me and Derek going to have. And, you know, I can't, I ain't finna say what it's gonna look yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, for sure, I ain't, for I ain't sure. put that out on what it's gonna look like, but yeah. it's really just all the work we're gonna put in in the gym and uh, just capitalizing off of everything that we, you know, we know 
that's gonna happen while we in there. So yeah, you know, really, I can't get a game plan though. Yeah, nah, for sure. I seen one of your old interviews. You know, I'm doing my research, looking at all the stuff, and I know you said this is some years ago. So this is before the Tink fight was in fruition. You said. Um, if I got a box, if I got a fight team, I'm gonna box him because he be losing rounds early on, and I think I can box him in that way. Mm -hmm. um, is that something that you feel like is, you know, what you gotta do in that way? Yeah, I could box him. You know, I could box him. I could bang with him. I feel like I could mix it up with him. Frank, you gonna bang mm -hmm. with him? Too? I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna just bang with him. <laughs> yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. But you know, I can, you know, I can, I can switch it up. I got a little bit of everything. Right. You know, I could box. I could bang. I can. Just who I am as a fighter, you sure. know. I could box, bang. I could take a punch. I could give a punch, you know. So, everybody, everybody got to realize he in there with me too. Mm. You know, I'm just people sleeping on me. He in there with me too. You know, like when we get in there, he gonna respect what what I'm bringing. Yeah. You know, it ain't just gonna be he finna come through and just and, and just push a nigga over. I yeah. ain't going. Right. You know, I ain't going. I mean, I definitely, you know, I've been watching your career for some time and. Um, <clears throat> seeing you improve every fight i feel like I, i've been able to see that like you thinking in there i can see like just the iq's been getting better how do you feel like that like on your side like you know you feel better now as you've been going along and just in terms of like learning yeah yeah you know i feel like every fight i improve in, in some area you know it might be you know like my last fight i improved you know like from the last fight on certain things i need to fix or yeah. you know tighten up on so uh Every fight be different, but I do feel like every fight that I didn't have, I got better yeah. from the fight. So tell me about the last fight, because Artem, one is, that was the first time I heard of Artem. Mm -hmm. um, it, was a, it was a tougher fight than you than we've seen before, but I give this guy a lot of credit in terms of, like I said, his, the name wasn't up there, but when I'm watching him, I'm like, damn, this dude is a tough, a tough fighter. You, you know, you ultimately won and did your thing. I think that was one of the fights that we, I felt like was, uh, that was probably your most difficult fight to date yeah. that I saw. What do you feel like made that one I guess more difficult than any any of the other ones. It was just you know it was just one of them nights for me. Like yeah. you know, dude was awkward, and you know like everybody's so hype on names. You know, just a lot of fighters who big right now who wasn't Olympians. You know, he right. he plays, he got a medal in the Olympics. For sure. You know, so a lot of people be sleep on that. But uh, dude was just he was awkward. But outside of that, you know, it was it was things on my end that you know I wasn't able to be all the way at my best that night. You know. Uh, weight cut a lot of different things you know mental yeah you know it was just one of those type of fights but you know i had to bite Pull down and yeah, yeah yeah i had to do my thing but you know i got the job done one of my best performance but yeah that defense was yeah on point all right so tell me because you i like uh i feel like you ain't really get the full credit uh my man jordan in the building i shout out to jordan i was telling them earlier I feel like you ain't get the full credit for um when you beat michelle rivera because mm -hmm. it was like in the, like hindsight looking at it, at the time he was going crazy, like as far as, you know, what he was doing, you beat him pretty easy. But I feel like you don't necessarily get the credit. Is that something you feel like you didn't? Yeah, for sure. Yeah? Yeah, you, man, if it's, if it's, at that time when I fought him, a lot of people, a lot of fighters weren't trying to fight him. That's a fact. You know what I mean? So, like even with that fight, like, I wasn't supposed to take that fight. Everybody what you say, mean? Everybody say, oh, it's too early. Oh, Not me okay. saying I ain't yeah, I yeah, supposed to yeah. take it. But yeah. everybody like, oh, it's too early or you ain't ready or, all right, I'm going to show up every time. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm going to show up. Is this some shit that's inside of me? Yeah. I'm going to show up every time. I ain't going to lie. That was the fight that, to me, that was the coming out party where it was like, we knew he was good, but then because you beat him so easy that it was like, oh, shit. Like, and he was on, he was on PDs, though. Right. Hold on, how did you feel when you got that news? Like, oh, this nigga took, he took the shit for me. Shit, I mean, I ain't, I don't know. I ain't really, I ain't really trip on it because I ain't find out the shit until like two months later. Oh, okay. To like after the fight. Yeah. You know, like when it, when it came out that he had got suspended or whatever. Yeah. And got fined and all that. So I ain't know, but, you know, he had to do something for me. <laughs> Hold it on, ain't helping. Did you, yeah, I'm about to say, it ain't help at all. Hold on, but did you feel anything in there? Because it looked very easy, but obviously looking and being in it is different. Did you feel like, oh, like, like this guy got power? Or this was like, did you feel that in there? Uh, he, had, he had respectable power. You know, he had respectable power, but it wasn't like, that fight was, that fight was like, it was easy for me. Yeah. You Look know, like it, was, it was just because the, our, the game plan that we worked was just so on point that, it was just, it was just easy. You know, I stuck to the game plan. Everything we worked in the gym, 
I brought it out and, and yeah. did it in that fight, and it was working. Yeah. Literally everything. For sure. Um, back to Tank real quick. I mean, y'all got some history, you know what I'm saying? Sparring session. Listen, niggas are saying that was a legendary sparring session. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And I know the rules. We don't really talk too much about sparring. Mm-hmm. But um, from what I heard, what the streets were saying, they were saying that uh, you caught Tank with a shot, and he got mad and... and Wanted to like fight no gloves off. Is that is that true? Like what was what was happening in that moment? At the end of the sparring, like they had to break it up. Like Floyd and them, Floyd. It was a, it was a few people in the gym. Quite a few people in the gym. They end up having to break it up. So mm. we this we only did for a round. So at that that last round, they broke it up. So like I'm thinking niggas finna we finna bang like, like outside. Get yeah, yeah, like. I'm thinking we is, so I hurry up, get out the ring, go change my clothes, and then I get interviewed as soon as I come back. Yeah. And I'm like looking like, like where I'm, I'm, I'm thinking <laughs> he was going to try to sneak me yeah. or something, but it was, right. it was a little off, you know, like, it was just off. It was just, you know, he, he got in there and, and thought he was going to do me how he was doing all his other sparring partners, you mm. know. He was, he, was, he was hurting all them other fighters, you know. Uh, it was a lot of fighters out there around that time he was hurting. Yeah. But uh, I feel like he thought he was gonna, he was gonna do me how he did them, you know, and it was it, it wasn't I wasn't going. He know. Yeah. Hold he up. Know. Do you feel like is this is this stuff that you take from from that that gives you the I don't say the confidence necessarily because as a fighter you're supposed to be confident. But did you take something from that that make you feel like oh well going into this fight I already know what I can do because of that? Nah, 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 nah. Hell no. Nah. Cause you know fighters get better. Yeah. You know fighters get better and then two you set yourself back when you. Just, you know, oh, I did this and think you could do it again. Mm. You know, a lot of times you do something to somebody once, they be they be more ready for you, more prepared. So, yeah. you know, I don't never, I don't never uh, look at it like that. You got to always stay on point. Hold up, did he hurt you in sparring? Nah. I feel like I seen him say, he, he, oh, you saw that interview? Big cap. <laughs> big cap. <laughs> I know you seen that interview where yeah, he I said. Yeah, I seen it. He, he said, said, he said, he said something. So maybe he heard him like I did before. Big like cap. That. Yeah. Big cap. He know what's happening. Mm. That's big cap. Yeah. Floyd. Big cap. Is this recorded? Cause this we in the ever now where niggas be posting sparring, sparring yeah. just coming out and all of that. I mean, I'm sure it's. I know it's some footage out there somewhere. Like, yeah, for sure. Show, Showtime crew was there. They was on the ring. You know, um, it was other people around. I, I seen something. They say it's a video that surfaced. Somebody got the video. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And they, and they was watching it. But it's did some, Floyd it's say anything to you? Like. After that, or post that, or anything, did he say anything to you that you took from you know well, that experience? Uh, I actually was working with Floyd around that time. Like he was working with me on the mitts and stuff. Oh wow! And then uh, like after the spar, he actually had it's this rapper I forget the dude name, dark skin dude got dreads. He always be with Floyd, young dude. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, young dude. He always be with him, be rapping. Hold on, he made the money team anthem, the money, money, money team. That that joint. Yeah, young, I know. young dark skin yeah, dude. Yeah, young dark skin with dress. Yeah, yeah like free right a, there, he like free you know Floyd. Like uh, he like, hey Floyd told me. Floyd asked me like, when you leaving? Cause I wasn't even supposed to be working when I was out there. I was I went out to Vegas looking for a spot. Cause around that time I was gonna move to Vegas. Okay. You know what I mean? So I just was popping into the gym. Cause every time I was would like would go out to Vegas, I'd pull up to Floyd Gym or whatever. Yeah. So me working, I wasn't even supposed to be sparring while I was there. <laughs> So I was using Floyd Gear when I, oh, okay. when I was sparring and everything. Yeah. But uh, he had he had dude who rapped. He had him come up to me and ask me when I was leaving. I was leaving the next day. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I'm finna leave tomorrow or whatever. And then he like, man, come back. He like Floyd, like we seen today. Mm. Then he was just like out of sight, out of mind. Right. You know, so. Right. But they been knowing me before. Who, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. So tell me, what what was it like, like when you hit and mitts with Floyd? You know what I'm saying, nigga, because that's Floyd. Like, I'm I'm from the era. This is my generation's goat right here. So, like, when you hit in the midst with Floyd and you interact with him, with him in that way, you know, what's going through your mind? Like, how do you feel? What did you take from that? Shit. You know, you get in there and you, like, you 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 overdo something because you're trying to, like, <laughs> show what show you got. Yeah. yeah. So hit I'm nigga extra there. hard. And yeah, yeah, I'm in there. I'm, I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to overdo it or yeah. whatever. So, you're like, relax, relax, chill. Right. So, then I got to chilling or whatever. But right. We was flowing. We, was, we only worked like, I think me and Floyd only worked like once. We only worked once on the mix. But that day it was cool, you yeah. know, for him to even get me on the mix. So that's what's up. It was a dope experience. Nah, that's cool, man. Um, man, switching gears a little bit. Uh, obviously, you, you know, you signed to Man Down Promotions, Errol, Errol Spence. Um, 
I want to know about that. Like, when was the first time that y'all connected on some like, yo, let's talk about actually doing business together? Um, it was so he 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 would hit me up. He would hit me up on, on like Instagram, just like he'll see me working out and stuff. And just just tap in with me like stay focused you got it little mm -hmm. stuff like that mm -hmm. and then i ended up coming out here my cousin Jalen smith played for the cowboys mm. so i came out here and we were just rapping and then he like uh if you could train with anybody who you would train with and i was like you know ej and Derek. So i'm like ej left-handed i like the style all that <clears throat> so uh he like all right cuz like all right we're gonna uh make it a reality mm. so i ended up going to that ocampo fight ej had oh, okay yeah i met him at the uh at the AT no, not the AT&T, at the, at the Star. They had like the little viewing or whatever they had at the Star. I pulled up, met EJ personally for the first time there. Yeah. And then Derek or whatever. And uh, I just told him I wanted to train with him. And at that time, I never trained with him. Because okay. he had a fight and everything. But I came back to Texas and had a sit down. It was me, Derek, and uh, my cousin. We had that sit down with Derek. And then he was just like, uh, asked me what I was trying to do. Where I was trying to take it. Yeah. Shit, he was just like, he'll train me, see what I got, he'll train oh, me. Oh, Derek said this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Basically, you know, I'm yep. gonna see what you got. Yep. So, really, after like, after a few fights, probably, like, I was gonna fight Duno. So, before I fought Duno, yep. uh, EJ wanted to sign me. EJ wanted to sign me, like, for that Duno fight. Mm. You know, so. I that's when it happened? It happened yeah, at yeah. the. Hold up, so what makes you want to sign? Because I think that's, I don't say necessarily unconventional because we've seen it before, but like as opposed to saying like, all right, I'm going to go with Top Rank or Golden Boy, like one of the promoters that's bigger, but you sign to a fighter, an active fighter, especially at that time who, you know, EJ on top of the world and whatever the case is. What made it that you felt like that was a deal that made sense for you? Just because like it was a lot of people trying to, trying to sign me in the beginning right yeah. but it was like it was a lot of bullshit mm. you know from managers to certain promoters or whatever so like with ej like before i even signed with them they had gave me certain opportunities you know bigger opportunities that nobody was trying to give me like mm. they were trying to you know they were trying to fuck me on certain opportunities but ej and them was giving me opportunities with no nothing signed no paperwork no nothing right so you know it just made sense you know like it was just like they blessed me so you know Let's do that. You know, I'm rocking with him. How how involved is he? Because, you know, the fans like to under, try to understand the business now. You know what I'm saying? You see a lot of fans and shit. How how involved is he with regard to decision making for what you're doing, right? Like, so, like, let's just say this fight with, with Tank. Is this something like you got to go to E and get clearance? We got to speak and be like, yo, let's do this next? Like, how does that work in terms of y'all business? We really just, we really just like a rap, you know, like. We will just rap like he had, he had a game a game plan for me. It ain't work, you know. When it didn't end up falling through, but for the most part, like me and him, I you know I told him what I wanted or whatever. I've been told him, you know. So they went to him probably with the opportunity, and he came to me with it. And yeah. I'm like, let's get it, you know. Like so, like he always just communicate with me and and ask me what I think, you know. Do I want it? If I don't want it, you yeah. know. Like he, we always communicate about it. Right for sure. What um, you said he had a game plan. What was his? Are you referring to the Shakur fight? Was that the the game plan? Yeah, that was the game plan. You know what I mean. But get that, get that built, and then you know we was gonna get another. You know we was gonna get the tank fight. Yeah. But that Shakur fight didn't go through because I wasn't happy with what I was getting paid. Well, why is that? Because I obviously at that time you took a lot of heat. You know the internet was killing you, and you one of them guys like you don't really say too much on the internet, so. You know how this shit works. Like the narrative is gonna go when people yeah. don't necessarily hear from you. So it turned into you ducking. That was the narrative that was happening. What do you feel like was you know from your perspective where it's like, all right, cool. I got this fight. They offered me this amount of money. What what made it feel like it wasn't good enough for where you was at at that moment? At that moment, just cause the 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 magnitude of the fight. You know who I'm fighting. You know like come on, like the money there. You know what I mean? And then, like, I know who I am and where I want to be. So it was just a lot that I was fighting outside of just that. You know, it's, I'm going over to another network. I'm, you know, uh, I got to deal with them judges. A lot of different, yeah. a lot of different scenarios, you know. So it was just, it was just one of them fights I just wasn't feeling. You know, I just wasn't, 
feeling out how, how all the odds was going to be against me. And then the money that was being offered to me, I wasn't feeling that. If it would have been more money, I would have yeah. took that. You know, yeah. we would have fought. But What about the people that say, all right, well, this would have been the most money you ever made in your I, career? Why are they worried about my money? <laughs> why are they worried about my paper? You yeah. know what I mean? Like, let me be, I'm getting in there fighting. Let me go in there and, and be, walk out happy with what I'm getting paid. Well, I'm going to take a fight and take the fight and then be like, damn, I'm taking this fight and I ain't even getting paid what I want. You know, yeah. that's all, that's a, a whole mental fuck. You know, mm. I want to go in the fight and be on point. Yeah. You know, not thinking about what I'm getting paid or not being happy with my pay or just a lot. Of, that, that fight was a lot of bullshit, yeah. you know, but like they, they yeah, it, it was going to be more money than I got, you know, that I, I done fought for. But it's besides that, you mm. know, like, you know, God put a, a bigger a blessing in front of me, you yeah. know, with this tank situation. Yeah, you know? for sure. I mean, so how did that make you feel? Like, when you going through that, you seeing this shit, you, you wasn't really responding to it too much. I saw the uh, Queen of the Ring interview. Salute to those ladies. Um, but how did that make you feel when you going through some shit Cap, and the internet is on like, your head? Like, yo, he ducking. He ducking. That was the first time that, that ever happened to me. Yeah. That was the first time some shit like that ever happened to me. So it was crazy because people don't know. Like, it ain't had nothing to do with ducking or being scared. You know, like, like I'm going to fight. One of the one of the the highest knockout artists in in the, in the game, right? Shakur ain't no knockout artist. Like, what is there to be scared of? You know, you're a good boxer, but what the hell is there to be scared of? Mm. Now I'm going to fight. You know, the not one of the knockout artists. What I ain't got no complaints. Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm getting paid. What I, I'm getting paid, cool, and. Shit, I'm gonna come out on top. All right, so when you got the when you got the money call, was the money was you like, all right, like shit straight, let's go? Was the was the paper feeling good when you had that when you had that first call? Yeah, you know what I mean? Cause this fight is is you know that's a fight like, like this, you gonna get back in. You know, yeah. you, you you gonna get your back in like that. You wanna get no back in, it was just that set. Oh, okay, okay. You know? So another bust down, you know what I mean? Never... You know, <laughs> right. <get> Frank, man. <laughs> 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 all right, now nah, for sure. Um, I got to talk about your stable mate, man, Ryan Garcia. Obviously, he's been making crazy waves in, um, you know, in the, in the last few weeks. A lot of stuff he's been saying on social media. Um, well, first, all right, did y'all spar recently? Because I nah. see reports saying, yo, y'all sparred and nah. da da da. Nah, we ain't spar. Yeah. We just, he sparred that day. And then, you know, I was getting warming up, getting ready to spar. Yeah. He had finished, and then he just finished with his shadow boxing. Okay, and that was the clip we seen, which I yeah. was shadow boxing. Yeah. All right, so hold up. What did he say to you? Because he said something about, we couldn't really hear it. It said something about, like, yo, tank power. And he, he was saying something to you about tank power, but it was just a little unclear. Do you remember what he was saying in that moment? Uh, the same thing I know, you yeah. know, like, the same thing I know about his power. What, just that he hit hard? Yeah, he hit hard. Yeah. yeah. Just, just that it's a different type of... It's a different type of power, like, it's just explosive, it's quick, you know, it's, you know, yeah. it's quick, but, but it ain't like, damn, like, you know, like, you can fight somebody, and, and when they hit you, they can hit you wherever, and you feel it, mm -hmm. you know, his shot's just more, like, super explosive, and, and just quick, you don't expect them. Did you feel that power in the sparring, where you was like, damn, this nigga, <laughs> he cracking for real? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, in the sparring, I could tell he cracked, yeah. you know, but we was, t like, the sparring was like, like we was fighting. Like we oh, it was, was like a fight. It yeah, wasn't we boxing. Was, like it was. Yeah, no, nah, we was, we was, we was, we was fighting in there. You yeah. know what I mean? So like, you know, you get in that mode and you don't feel nothing. Mm -hmm. That's that's how it was. You know, but but when it, when we first started, it was it was I could tell he had power or whatever. But after when I when I hit him with that shot, and he grabbed and got the grab and all that. That's when we got to like, mm. you know, we got to just fight. Hold on, did you feel like you hurt him? Was he, was yeah. you in your head like, oh, I just hurt Tank just yeah, now? I hurt that nigga. Yeah, yeah facts? Yeah, I Ooh, it's not a lot of people that can say that, Frank. I'm just trying to let you know. Not a lot of people that say that about all Tank. Right. This is Tank. All right. I don't know why he lying and said he hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But so, um, all right, hold up. Tell me again about Ryan because, um, you know, like I said, like he been, you know, the last few weeks, I'm sure you've seen it on social media. He's been talking a lot of stuff about elites and Illuminati and blah, blah, blah. Um, when you see that as somebody that's like a stable mate, like I'm sure you just fuck with him on some, we in the same kind of camp now. What do you think when you see him kind of moving on social media like that? Hey, I don't know 
that's just, you know, I don't know what he'd be promoting, you know, like how you trying to move, you know, that's just, that's on how, you know, whatever he doing with it, it could be true, it could be, that's just what he, you know, doing to promote, it could be the or, but, yeah, you know. Do you feel like he's focused in terms of like, you know, he got a big fight with Devin Haney coming up and people are starting to question like, yo, is this guy focused? And I'm just asking you, cause you be in there with him. So yeah, we don't yeah, know. He, like he, he, he been working. Yeah. He been working. Yeah, for sure. He been working. You know, he might just be trying to throw people off. Right. Do you feel like that's a winnable fight for Ryan Garcia? Uh, yeah. Every fight a winnable fight for anybody. You know, it's boxing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like for real, it's boxing. chances and stuff. And he got a high puncher chance. Yeah, okay. Fair. You know, he 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 got a high puncher chance. Yeah. You know, I think you said it was a winnable fight for Ryan. You know what I'm saying? But when I look at it, just my boxing brain, I'm, I'm breaking it down. I'm like, all right, damn. Devin is really good at long range. He got the jab. I think mid range, he's really good as well. Inside, I feel like is where you could give him some trouble. Um, so how do you see that? Like when you breaking it down just as a fight fan, is this something that you see that you like, damn, I feel like Ryan could actually beat Dev? Uh, I just seen him, I just see him in the gym. You yeah. know, I see certain stuff that he do got that could be effective in that fight. Um, uh, Dev, Dev is a boxer, you know, Dev move a lot. Uh, Ryan more of an aggressor, you yeah. know, he he aggressive. If he come in with a certain type of aggression, I feel like he could possibly land a, a, a shot, like a one of those fast shots, you know. Yeah. They fought in the amateurs, look, like six times and they three and three, so mm-hmm. shit, this this the grand finale right here. This is it. Now I'm excited for that one. Um, tell me about you and the amateurs, man, or like, I guess just coming out of that, because I guess before EJ and Man Down, you know, you had a bunch of fights and, you know, was grinding to really get where you was at. What was that process like? Kind of take me back to that, where it was just like, ah, right, you just turned pro and you trying to, like, set up fights and things like that. Tell me tell me about that. Really on a... So when I first turned pro? Yep. So when I first turned pro, I was fighting the armories, you know. So back where I'm from, like, I'm known, you know. So I was able to sell tickets. So I was selling tickets. I'm booming tickets or, or whatever for fights. So I was... when I. When I fought, I would have to pay for the opponent. I had to pay the promoter, like the little local promoters. Mm-hmm. I had to pay the promoter, and then I walk away on my little cut. Mm. You know, but in, on the front end, like my first like 13 fights, I was hustling. I was selling tickets. You know, me and my pops, we was we was just selling tickets to Damn. you know cover the fights and stuff. Yeah, where was this? Is this in Indiana? So, so I I was fighting in Indiana. I was fighting in Indianapolis and uh, Detroit. Oh, okay. And I had fought in Fort Wayne one time, whatever, but it was mainly like me and Wes, like my first 13 fights. At this point, are you believing like, all right, because we, we doing everything ourselves, me, my pops, you know, family, hand to hand. Are you believing like this is a dream that that's real, like it's going to work to that level? Like, did you understand and know that at that time? What you mean? Like that fighting was going to work out for oh, you yeah, for real? Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, I, I knew, I knew. It was just because I knew I was going to, you know, what I was putting in, all yeah. the time I was putting in. And, you know, it's one of them things, like, whatever you put into it, you don't get out of it. Right, right. Um, take me back to Indiana, man. I know you were born in Detroit, I believe. Um, spent a lot of time in Indiana, and I know i seen in the interview where you said uh, your mom's side was the athletes, pop side was the street niggas. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, what was that? Like, before you really felt like you was committed to boxing, where where were you at? Just trying to find myself in the streets and sports, you know what I mean? Like I was I was I was on two different spectrums, you know. Throughout the week in school I was an athlete. On the weekends I was in the streets. You know, so, <laughs> yeah. you know I was I was lost. Yeah. You know, trying to trying to find my little my little niche. I think I, I heard you say that you um you got locked up one time and shit was looking a little serious. Um Yeah. What was that? Tell me, tell me, bring me, bring me to that point where it was like, you know, whatever street shit you was doing kind of caught up. It was just some, it was just a little, a little home invasion and, you know, yeah, that's not that little, like nigga, nigga, that little, <laughs> that ain't that little, yeah. nigga, that's a, you know what I'm saying, yeah. but yeah. They tried him with home invasion, armed robbery, mm. you know, it was, it was, you know, I ended up beating it, of course, you yeah. know, but yeah. it was just one of them situations where, uh, once, once everything was cool, like, I'm like, that's when I, like, fully focused, like, all right, I'm finna box, like, yeah. I, I ain't trying to go sit down, 
So I'm, I'm, I'm finna box. I'm just focused fully on boxing. For sure. What was I right, when you when you was in the street like that? Like, what you feel like drew you to that? Was it like you know my family in it over here doing it, niggas? Or I've been seeing money from it. Like, what what you feel like was the thing that drew you to the street shit? It just it was in me. You know, it was in me. You know, from family to just being around certain friends. You know, who was in the streets. So it was just it was it was there. Yeah. What could you tell, you know, I got a lot of youngins that watch this show, a lot of kids and, you know, aspiring people. What could you tell them, like, how do they beat the traps of the streets or, like, you know, kind of maneuver in that way? Man, man. Sometimes it be hard, you know, like, say, for instance, like, some people don't get out their city. Mm. You know, like, if you, when you, if I want to got out of, if I want to got out of Fort Wayne, like, I was back and forth, but if I want to got out of Fort Wayne, like, I would have been caught. In mm. the, you know, I'd just been caught in that. I've just been caught there, you know, because yeah. sometimes people don't go outside <laughs> to experience, like, or see what else out there. Yeah. You know, and, and Fort Wayne is just one of those places where you can get you can get trapped in the, in the street life. So uh, what I would say is, man, just be headstrong out here. You know, be headstrong and create your own path, your your, your own wave, you know, make your own wave. And everybody ain't got to gotta be street or, you know, sell drugs to, to get to a bag. Yeah, for sure. Hold up, did your pops know that you was active like that? Like, you know, your pops being a street nigga, did he know, like, all right, my son really out here? You know what's crazy? My pops really didn't know what was going on. Mm. You know what I mean? My mom used to keep a lot away from my pops, you know? And at a certain time, a point, you know, my pops was locked up. So around that time, you know, mom wasn't telling my pops what was going on. You know, she ain't even wanting to know. Right. Yeah, okay. All right, so when, when was the moment that you kind of knew that boxing was your, like, all right, I'm two feet in boxing, nothing else don't really matter. This is, I'm really in it. When them charges got dropped on me. Mm. When them charges got dropped on me, I'm, I told myself, I'm, I moved. That's when I moved from, from Fort Wayne. Yeah. I moved out of Fort Wayne. I said, I'm going to focus. I'm going to give my all to boxing. Yeah. And then I just, I did that, you know? Was it a hard transition for you? Cause you, I feel like you started late just in terms of, you know, in terms of how young these guys are starting now, you know what I'm saying? Was it a hard transition for you to be like, all right, I'm gonna jump in the game for real at this point in my life? Nah, I ain't, I ain't never really think about it. Like when I started, I ain't never, wasn't like, oh, it's late for me or, you know, cause in, a, in Fort Wayne, boxing ain't big at all. Like, okay. you know, I'm talking about, it ain't really too many gyms or none of that there, but, I ain't really know. I just, I just like to fight, you know. So I had <laughs> yeah. got in it, you know, at eighteen, and shit, I was just doing it because I, I liked to fight. Yeah. Was you, was you good in the amateurs to the point that it gave like, like you, did you feel like, all right, I'm good, like I'm, like I'm in this shit, man. I'm yeah. actually good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, I was in the amateurs. What I had, a, I was only in the amateurs for like, like three years, you know, and then I turned pro. Yeah. But. I, uh, before I turned pro, I was ranked number two in the country. Uh, you know, I I made some noise. Yeah, what weight you was fighting at? at 41. Time? 41, okay, yeah. okay. Um, another thing I want to mention, uh, you know what, I, I actually respected this. I, ha- I had Keisha on, on the show recently, mm. um, maybe a month ago, and uh, I love that moment with y'all two niggas, bro. That, mm. I ain't gonna lie, I love that moment, because it yeah. was like, all right, what made this shit ill to me as a nigga just watching it, it was like, you in this interview, and then you see him, and then you like, yo, hold on. <laughs> so you go pull up on him for real. Yeah, yeah. And um, I like, I, me interviewing Keyshawn, it made me really like him. I, I like him as a person, as an individual. And um, it felt like at the time, he felt a little, it seemed like, this is me outside looking in, it seemed like he was taken back at first that he didn't expect you to do that. Yeah. Um, and then he kind of turned up, you know, I think at first he was kind of like, what? Like, this nigga really pulling up? Yeah. What was that to you? Tell me about that moment, because I Shit. feel like you just paused the interview and pulled up with a nigga. I was like, oh, this Man, nigga I don't freak. play. Like, it ain't, I don't do all that talking and then just, like, just do it to do it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, all the, all the shit he was saying about me, it was like, I had never seen him a day in my life. Yeah. You know, never been around him, never nothing. So, like, when I seen him, like, I see him across from me, like, and he been talking all this shit. So you, I would expect him to say something to me. Mm. Yeah, you know I mean, so I'm doing, I'm doing the interview, and I'm, I'm, I'm looking over there. I'm waiting for them to come where I'm at. Yeah, you know, so I'm looking, and he finna get up out of there. 
So I'm like, nah, I gotta go press, bro. I gotta, I gotta holler at him real quick, mm. just to let him know, like, bro, I'm not, I'm not one of the ones who just doing all that, that fat mouthing, bro. Like, I'ma press up on if, if it's a nigga talking or something, I'm pressing him. Yeah, that's just how I'm coming. Yeah, I'm pressing him. Nah, that, that was a fire moment. I enjoyed that as a fight fan. Yeah. Like, it was like, okay, yeah. I nigga, that's a see, fight I like to see. See I would me, personally like to see me, that. bro, me, bro. I'm like. I'm, I'm a solid dude, yeah. you know what I mean? So, like, if it's, if it's like, if it's a fight that that just, you got to bring that out, it's going to come mm. out. I just ain't one of the ones who finna just act a certain way just because this fight is finna happen. Right. Like, nah, like, when you bring it out, it's going to just naturally come out. I can't pump fake, like, yeah. I can't do that. Yeah, but I don't feel like, like I said, in that moment, I didn't feel like he was... He wasn't scared of nothing. I feel like he was. Mm-hmm. I just think he. You took it by took him by surprise that you pulled up like that. That's mm-hmm. what it felt like to me. Is that a fight that you would consider? Like obviously you can't look past Tank. This fuck. Yeah. This is his Tank. But is that a fight that yeah, you that would fight, be like? That, you know what I'm saying? We get that on. Yeah, that fight could possibly happen. I you like. Know, he, he went in. He just got him a dub against uh, Pedraza. Pedraza. Yeah, that fight could possibly happen down the line, for sure. I like that one, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Streets need yeah. that. Yeah, right? sure, I ain't gonna sure. lie. You know what I'm saying? Um, all right. What What do you feel like, like as far as just you know, your goals and aspirations, like the shit that you' trying to really get out this box and shit? Like, mm-hmm. what is that? What is that? Man, I'm trying to just I'm trying to get to the top. You know, I want to be this opportunity that's in front of me. I'm gonna go out here and capitalize on this opportunity, and you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna take over the sport. You know, I'm gonna take over the game. You know, if you. If you can beat Tank, this changes your whole life. For sure. For sure. Do you see that? Is that something like you see this I in see your it. head? Like, I see it. <laughs> Yo. You know, I see it. I feel yeah. it. Feel it. I feel it. You know? Like, it ain't nothing that's not achievable. You know? I know what I'm going up against. You know? So, just gotta, when it's time to go in there and do what I do, I just gotta do it. Yeah. Is it? Is there anybody outside of this that you feel like, before shit is said and done, I want that. Like, we, we got to see each other. We got to do that. Like, is there anybody that feels like that to you? Uh, definitely got to, you know, me and Shakur got to go. Mm. Yeah, we got to go, you know. We got some belts on the line. We got to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Do you, uh, is it, I don't say animosity, but because of how the whole Shakur shit played out, do you feel like it's like a little, like, chip on your shoulder with that? Yeah, like, he right, disrespected, like, you know. He, he disrespected me, you know, like. Cause he know, he know, you know, like far as he talking about certain DMs and all that shit mm-hmm. when it came to the fight. Like I kept it G. I said, y'all pay me with, pay me, pay me this and I, we can get the fans what they want. You know what I mean? He went on waxing, calling me bitches and all that. Like, bro, mm-hmm. that's disrespectful, bro. So he got to see me. Okay. I like that fight too. Hold up. Cause I feel like, all right, what do you say with this? Cause he said, he was like, yo, well, I feel like. When I was going through my shit with Devin, Frank was saying, well, you, I was just took the 25% and blah, blah, blah. So, nigga, take why you won't take it. What? Like the fight with him. I heard him say it, that before. It wasn't 25% what I was getting. Mm. You know what I mean? It, that's not what it was. And then it's, it's, all right, so we can go back on that, on that conversation, right? Now I got this tank fight, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So this is a... Like that Devin Haney opportunity. Devin Haney is undisputed. You know, he got he he got all that shit. That's that's his shit. Yeah. You gotta go take that from him. You know what I mean? Shakur, bro, this is a vacant title. This is a this is a vacant belt. Mm. You know, I'm finna go fight Tank now for the WBA. Yeah. The Tank is a star. You know, Tank don't even need the belt. Yeah, for sure. You know, so it's just it's totally different. So me going back to that conversation, saying, all right, I would have took that twenty five percent or whatever. To get to that level, you got to be the top dog to be the top dog, mm. right? And that's what I'm finna do. This this is a new opportunity. Yeah. This is a top dog, and I'm finna go, you know, shock the world. Yeah. How do your 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 people, you know, not necessarily people you work with, but you know, niggas that you see in your hood, your family, like obviously they're gonna pull for you because you know you you are you are people. Yeah. But when you when they heard like ah right, he going against Tank, like what was the vibes? Like is the people around you? Do you feel the confidence around you? Uh, or do you feel like niggas is like uh You know, uh. it's it's you know, for the most part, my solid people who know me, know who I am, mm-hmm. they know. You know, they know it's gonna be a lot of people who they don't know, you know, but 
that energy, I ain't having none of that shit around me. Yeah. You know, so my circle real small right now. Real, it's always small, but yeah. it's gonna be knit tight or whatever. I feel like y'all all like that at the Derrick James gym. He told me that today, like. Niggas can't just be coming up in here. He said, I wasn't about to let you in here at first. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, uh, lastly, man, tell me about, uh, tell me about EJ, bro. Like, the world, I feel like we haven't really seen or heard from him since the Bud fight, like, publicly, you know what I mean? Interviews and all that shit. Um, tell me about, like, do you, when you speak to him, do you feel like the niggas in a good space? Do you feel like, is he still got that fight in spirit? Like, is EJ yeah. still EJ? Yeah, EJ still EJ. You know, EJ, EJ just living his life. You know, he, he chilling. He been boxing. He been boxing for a long time. Yeah. You know, EJ chilling. EJ, EJ barely in the country, man. EJ living. <laughs> Shit. Passport getting crazy right there. Man, it, he, he got stamps. That yeah. nigga got some stamps on him. Yeah. All right, but is it like, all right, do you think from where, where it was at? Because that fight, like I said, I'm gonna be honest, it wasn't really that close, whatever, for whatever reason. I don't know, whatever, like I said, he's been through a lot. Terrence Crawford's a really great fighter. Is that a fight that you feel like a rematch, like you would like to see a rematch of that? Yeah. Yeah? For sure. For sure. Think he would want that? Yeah. 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 Because it be rumors going around like, yo, EJ's retiring. I know you see that on social media. They be saying that. When you talk to him, I'm just trying to get the fans, of, nobody really speaks to him. I'm trying to get the uh-huh. fans a view. Do you feel like retirement is something that is on his mind when you're speaking to him? Not right now. Yeah. Not right now. He still got, he got, still got fighting him. Yeah. Yeah, he still got fighting him. Yeah. I hope you go to 54, man. I want to see yeah. EF 54, man. Yeah. Yeah. I think he will. I think he'll go up. For sure. All right. Yo, listen, man. I appreciate your time, brother. For sure. Thank you for sitting down, man. Listen, you got a you got a big moment ahead of you. I'm wishing you the best. Appreciate and, it. Oh, I also want to say, and I and I want to sound. You got to take this with a grain of salt. I don't want to sound like this nigga saying this, but I but because of expectations with this tank fight, you don't act. Obviously, you're gonna go to win. Yeah. But to get ahead, you don't actually need to win, though. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like you could. If you put on a great fight, nah, nah. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> nah, I get what you're saying, but I ain't trying to play nah, you. Nah, play nah, you, though. I don't want to be the guy. Oh, he put up a good yeah. fight with Tank, and yeah. oh yeah, he just because he put up this good fight, he gonna no. I'm going to win. Mm. I'm going to win. Yeah, I'm going to take that shit. Mm. Yeah, I like that. I respect For that, sure. yo, Frank. For I appreciate sure. your time, man. Super dope episode. The Ghost, Frank Martin. We out of here. Let's get it.